What's happening everybody? So KOA was a huge success. It was expensive, it was about 50 bucks a night. But it was very nice, the showers were nice, everything was nice. They have all kinds of uh, cool amenities here. Uh, the only thing they don't have is 120 power on their regular uh, little plug-in thing. So you have to get an adapter to adapt, uh, what, 20, 30, or 50 amp to uh, regular 120 household sockets. They even have a little surf shop and a little shooting gallery thing. That's cool. Um, yeah, they have everything. So we're gonna go explore some San Diego today and see what's up. Uh, after reading all the comments on my, uh, my video where I put the roof fence in, I think we're gonna paint the top. You know, it'll, it'll do two things. One, it'll make it look a lot better. And we're talking about on the inside. And two, it'll cover up any of the loose fiberglass that might come out and uh, get in our lungs and kill us or make our skin itch or whatever. One more thing about the inside of the van. Uh, we're gonna paint it, but we're gonna, I think we might wait a little bit to cover the insides and very lightly insulate it. We stick to like warm climates, man, so there's no real reason to insulate it. And it definitely stays way cooler in here than it did without the uh, high top. And also our cell phone reception is a million times better because those uh, those frequencies can go through fiberglass but you can't really go through metal very well. Okay, so this up here is where we're trying to go and it's completely blocked off. I don't know what happened up there. They have fire trucks and this road is blocked off. Uh, it looks like they have crime scene tape up. So I guess we're gonna walk down there and check it out and see what happened. Maybe we'll just park at this park and walk. Yeah, something big's going on, man. So apparently you can climb down into these holes and they just got welded shut and some homeless people were sleeping under there and they got sealed in and some tourist was walking by and heard tapping and they were trapped under there so they had to come and pull them out. Isn't that crazy? So this is the Museum of Man or something like that and that's where we're trying to go. Uh, hopefully we can get in there. That's insane, man, they had to pull like the road apart to help him out. Side note, in yesterday's video, uh, we went on this crazy beautiful bridge. I'm pretty sure that's the one we're on right now. Hopefully we can get through. Looks like they're all right. They're standing up and stuff. All right, so uh, looks like the fire trucks are starting to leave now. We went back to the van to take off. There's still a bunch of cars down there and stuff. There's supposed to be this rad suspension bridge down here though. So we're gonna go and check that out real quick and then probably come back to here. I don't know, we might go to Coronado. I don't know what's gonna happen yet. Whoa, look at that view. So there's like a wash down there. It doesn't bounce though, I thought it would bounce. So I know nothing about the history of this thing, or oh my god, we are up really high. Okay, it does bounce a little bit. It's actually kind of sketchy to be on this thing right now. I'm a little bit scared of Christ. Oh my god, I feel it moving. Yeah, I feel it's, it moving. the whole thing is moving. Oh my god. We're just held up by these ropes. <laughs> oh my god, I'm scared. Are you nervous? Yes. So this uh, this suspension bridge is actually from 1912. It's on their historical site register or whatever. That's pretty interesting. It's a pretty uh, pretty bridge. <laughs> We're gonna go to the um, museum now. It has some really crazy looking exhibits. I can't wait to see. So the museum is up here. You'll see it in a second. They've got like some art exhibit uh, or art uh, college thing. This whole, here's a museum of art, San Diego. This whole little area is different from any other, uh, uh, not landscape, uh, architecture I've ever seen in my life. Look at this place, man. So they got some crazy exhibits in here. They've got like a, uh, cannibal exhibit which I think is crazy and might be really interesting. They've got some other anthropological uh, exhibits which sound really cool. So hopefully we'll find parking here soon so we can go check it out. Wow, check this out. So we found parking. This is like, uh, they have an organ inside of there and they have organ concerts here. Look at this architecture though. Evie was saying that there's a place in Moscow that looks just like this with this like kind of half circle thing going on. I want to get kind of up close to it. To the people of San Diego, this pavilion and organ are presented to them, and the people of the world, this pavilion and organ are dedicated by John Speckles and Adolph Spreckles, January 1st, 1915. Wow. It's beautiful. I haven't really seen architecture like this before. So I guess we're gonna go check out the uh, museum real quick. Should be pretty neat. This is so awesome. Look at that down there. Yeah.
<laughs> I have no idea what to expect in here. It happened all the time. It was not unusual. <laughs> You ready for this? Uh, almost. Okay. One of us, because it's going to be killed and eaten, the other one's going to have to do the killing. Okay. Who's the, wait, let me make sure the camera's properly set. Okay. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yeah. Uh-oh. First I will be killed and eaten. Second shortest. I think I'm killing you. These brains are the best thing I've ever tasted. Woman who survived a shipwreck. Best beef steak I've ever tasted. Shipwreck survivor. Holy crap, dude. And Polynesian human meat is called long pig, and the taste is compared to pork. Beware of the brains. This isn't part of the exhibit, but it's just about the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. It looks like a devil, man. Crazy. I wonder what that says. But here's a better shot of that building. It's pretty freaking sweet, man. I don't think I've ever seen anywhere like that before. Uh, that exhibit was pretty cool. A lot of reading, a lot of reading, but it was pretty cool. Uh, definitely learned some stuff. So we're gonna head in here real quick and uh, see what they got in there. Whoa. Look at this place. I don't even know where to start. What is this? Monsters. Monsters of the world. Whoa, those are creepy. We going in here? Monster theater? Yeah, hold on. No, you stay outside and I'm gonna play you something. I play, I go outside? Yeah, you watch I don't know what's going on here. Evie's doing something. Hold on, I'll show you. <laughs> You're so goofy. He's the scariest one of all. <laughs> Look at these. Foo dogs. These are cool. What are they? Ancient lions, but half human. They guard temples, palaces, temples, and tombs. Wow, look at this ancient Chinese uh, quiver. Very fancy. Samurai armor. Whoa, is this real? Is this real samurai armor? Yeah, I think it is, man. 19 or 1500 to 1899 samurai armor. That is so cool. This is some crazy knife. Unknown date Chinese knife. Whoa, Japanese mask. That's really intense looking. This is Neanderthal. It's a Laquina woman. Look at this little guy. Lucy reconstruction. Oh yeah, that's the miniature woman. She's cute. Here's a Homo sapien next to a Neanderthal skeleton. Look how similar they are. They are. The ribs are obviously much different. The skulls aren't that much different. The pelvises are very different though. Look at that. Look how small these ones are. How big those ones are. Whoa. I've never seen any authentic uh, ancient Egypt stuff. Is this a mummy? Where's his head? Why doesn't he have a head? This mummy seems to have lost his head. 
the head and toes of mummies is definitely missing. Very common to find mummies with missing or damaged body parts. Ancient Egyptians created the emoji. <laughs> Look at that. It's just like a regular emoji. Okay, so that place was pretty much amazing. Uh, my camera is dying, so we gotta go back to the van. Her phone's dying too, so we both gotta go charge up our uh, stuff real quick, and then on to the next place. All right, made it to Coronado Island. It is beautiful. It doesn't, I, I imagined it being the super, super high end, like all like mansions and stuff, but we haven't made it to the beach yet. We're on our way down to the beach. Uh, gonna see what else we can find on the way. I like the vibe of it down here though. It's really nice. Yeah, look at those waves, man. You wanna run? Look at that, look at that. You wanna run? Yes. Jump for jellyfish. <laughs> Oh, it is cold. It is cold. It's cold. Look at that. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so Evie and I got these little glass bottles uh, from some place, and we're gonna start filling them up with sand from really cool places, cool beaches we go to, like here, San Diego, and cool deserts like Death Valley, and uh, you know other cool places that have sand that we go to, and maybe even dirt too. So this is our first time doing it. You want to do this? Yes. You want to do it? Yes, I do. I okay, do. here. I want to do, do it. Do it down here so the camera can see. Okay. There's a little bottle. Here, I'll, I'll hold the cork. Okay. It's okay. You want to hold this? I'm going to hold this? Yes. Okay, let's do it. It's kind of hard to fill that thing up, huh? Yeah, but it's small, so. Let's do it. Teeny bit more. A little bit more? Yeah. Yeah. San Diego sand. San Diego sand. You put the cork on. Boop. Yeah, it's done! There we go! Woo! <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay, so we're running down to the beach now to try to get what's left of the sunset. We're just gonna sit and watch it and give you a little time lapse. Check this out. <laughs> oh man, I thought it would be such a good idea to feed a bird and then all of a sudden they're all over. Look at them. They want your crackers. They want your crackers. Hide your crackers. I don't have any crackers. Hide them, hide them. <laughs> they were flying after me. They were like, look. The one was like right in front of my face and looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was awesome. Look at them staring at us. Yeah, look at them. Hey, let's go get a taco or something. Let's get out of here. Let's get a chalupa. Bye bye, birdies. You ready? Hold on, film me, film me. Okay, film me. it's rolling. They're not running from you. Whoa, look at that wave. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Dang! Some of these houses down here are absolutely stunning. Of course, we just missed the most impressive ones, but these are still really nice. Uh, all multi-million dollar homes out here, I'm sure. So, we found this uh, taco shack on the Atlas Obscura. It is a Mexican wrestling-themed taco shop. So, we're gonna go get our taco on. All right, guys, so just got our food. Look at that, we got some enchiladas. It looks delicious. This place is so cool, but it is so freaking packed right now. There's so many people in there. Uh, I'll try to get insert a little clip like over the top of me talking right now to show you what it's like in there. It's really, really cool. They have all this Mexican wrestling stuff everywhere. Mm. Rice is good. Rice is really good. Get a little bite of this. See what these enchiladas are like. You need to get closer to because I feel like there's the maiden trying to reach your plate and it's out of Oh, 
Oh, dude. Really good enchiladas. Yeah, this place gets a big thumbs up for me. This is so cool. It's really good. Mm, we're gonna eat this. Okay, so we're at the Home Depot now. I ended up getting cramps really, really bad after that uh, enchilada. She did not, so I think it's just because I ate it so fast. I ate that thing like as fast as I could. Uh, ran into the bathroom as quick as I could when we got here. We're picking up stuff to paint the ceiling now. Uh, we got super, super blessed by a amazing viewer who was letting us use their driveway to and their RV to sleep in tonight. So we're gonna park uh, outside their house and paint the inside of the van tonight and sleep in their RV while it dries so we don't have to breathe in this, the smelly paint smell all night. Uh, we are getting no VOC paint, but still, it's just, it's sucks sleeping in a room that's just been painted, you know what I mean? So yeah, I think that's uh, the end of this video. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Love yourself.